hi everybody welcome back to my channel how are you all i'm good here so has everyone had enough with summer this year i'm done with it seriously i was done with it before it even started so what's the story for today today we are taking a look into the case of sada abe and who was she and what did she do Sada Abe was a Japanese geisha slash sex worker and other things who killed her lover for love. And she loved him so much and wanted him to be with her always that she cut off his peekaboo pee pee and carried it around. Yes, and she became a legend in Japan for it. Do you want to know the story? Yes, but first, let's start from the beginning. Let's be honest, I'm not going to start with Sada's lover, Peekaboo Pee Pee, right away. We need to know a little bit about her and the path to the ultimate Peekaboo Pee Pee slash. So, Sada Abe was born on May 28, 1905 in Tokyo, Japan from an upper middle class family. Her parents were Shigyoshi and Katsu Abe who had a math business. Sara Abe had seven siblings, however four of them died before they reached adulthood. Like all families, Sada's family wasn't immune to drama. Her brother Shintaro was a womanizer. He stole money from the family's business because he was a drunk and he needed to fund that behavior. But his behavior was tolerated by the family. However, her sister Teruku, who had several lovers, received punishment from her parents for her promiscuous behavior. Her father sold her to a brothel, but two years later he brought her back by buying the rest of her contract. At the time, women had a subservient role, but Sada had a pampered childhood. She was given anything she wanted and she could do whatever she wanted. She studied singing and dancing, she didn't care about school, and she focused on her entertainer skills. Because her parents were having issues due to Sada's brother and sister behavior, as a teenager, Sada had total freedom to spend time on the streets. She had sex with local boys, which caused a lot of damage to her reputation. Things eventually took a wrong turn because Sada was assaulted by one of the boys in the group she used to hang out. Her parents defended her and supported her, but this event turned Sada into a difficult teenager. She became more and more uncontrollable. As a punishment for her behavior at the age of 17, according to Sada, her father sold her into a geisha house. But before being delivered to the geisha house, Sada was assaulted by her father's friend. But being a geisha isn't something you just decide and it's done. The training to be a geisha starts from childhood, years of training in studying music and arts. So Sada was way too old to become a full geisha, so she remained at a low rank on which one of her duties was to have sex with the client. Because Sada was older and raised outside the geisha system, she was more worldly and more educated than the other geishas and this made her very popular popular with the clients and with time Sada regained confidence and self-direction and she also took her power back when it came to sex she did it because she wanted not because she was forced five years after working Sada contracted syphilis and she also had had enough of the abuse she suffered at the hands of her clients and other geishas. So Sada decided to become a full-time sex worker because she would make more money. It paid better. But Sada's time working as a sex worker didn't go smooth. She worked in the Tobita brothel district in Osaka. She caused a lot of problems for herself. She used to steal money from the clients and she tried to run away from the brothel several times, but she was always caught and brought back. Eventually, she succeeded in leaving the brothel and started working as a hostess and as a waitress. But the pay was much lower, so she returned working as a sex worker but this time she was unlicensed 
In January 1933, Sada's mother passed away. Then a year later, in January 1934, her father also passed away. During the same year, Sada was arrested on a police raid on a brothel that had no license. But not for long. Sada Abe was bailed by the friend of the owner of the brothel. His name was Kinosuke Kasahara. He was married, he was well connected and wealthy, and he was smitten by Sada Abe. So he took Sada Abe as his mistress. He gave her a house and an income too. But this was a troubled relationship. Kinosuke wouldn't give Sada what she wanted. She wanted to settle down and she wanted him to leave his wife, but he refused. She then asked him if she could have other lovers and he said no. Sada eventually ended the relationship. After the relationship ended, Sada tried working at a restaurant again, and this time in Nagoya. She met Guru Omiya, he was a professor, and an up-and-coming politician. And the two of them started an affair. Sada got bored of Nagoya and she returned to Tokyo and Guru met her there. He then paid for her to stay at a hot springs resort from November until January 1936 after he found out Sada had contracted syphilis previously. Goro was someone who suggested Sada to become financially independent by opening a restaurant. He recommended Sada to work as an apprentice in the restaurant business. And so she did. On February 1st, 1936, Sada Abe started working as an apprentice at a restaurant called Yushidaya. Its owner was Kishisu Ishida. A 42-year-old man who started as an apprentice and worked his way up in the business. Even though he was the owner, it was actually his wife who managed the restaurant. Kishisu was a womanizer and he didn't take long to make a move on Sada and she gave in to his advances and the two of them started a steamy and deadly affair. Kishisu and Sada met at a love hotel for a pre-arranged rendezvous. They planned a short fling, but instead they stayed in bed for four days. They eventually moved into another tea house and they consumed each other, indulging in drinks and sex and didn't stop regardless if someone came in or not. Kishisu was absent from his restaurant for two weeks, but when things ended, Sada A was obsessed with Kishisu and she became agitated and started drinking a lot. She thought he was her true love and she became extremely jealous of Kishisu's wife. And then Sada decided to kill Kishisu. If she couldn't have him all for herself, nobody could. On May 11th, 1936, Sada attended a play. The storyline was a geisha who attacks her lover with a knife. And Sada decides to do the same. The next time she met Kishisu, she threatened him with a knife. And Kishisu loved it. He really enjoyed it. But Sada Abe's obsession with Kishisu would soon become deadly. As they embarked in their ultimate erotic bender, Sada put the knife to the base of Kishisu's penis, threatened to cut it off if he had sex with another woman. And Kishisu laughed. Then Sada began choking Kishisu during sex and he told her to continue cause it increased his pleasure and he did it to her as well. As time passed, Sada then used a belt to cut off Kishisu's breathing during an orgasm. They liked it so much, they repeated for several hours. On one occasion, Kishisu got hurt. His face became distorted, he didn't come back to normal. He took a sedative to ease the pain, then he went to sleep. On May 18, 1936, 2 a.m. while Kishizu Hishida was asleep, Sada Abe wrapped her sash around his neck and strangled him to death. She lied down for a few hours with his body and she then cut off his penis and testicles with a kitchen knife. She wrapped them in a magazine cover and kept them. She wrote with blood, we Sada and Kishizu Hishida are alone on Kishizu's left thigh and on a bed sheet. She then carved Sada into Kishizu's left arm. She put Kishizu 
Jesus' underwear on and she let the in and told the staff not to disturb Kishiso Ishida. Sada Abe then met with her former lover Horo Omiya. She apologized to him without him knowing she was apologizing for destroying his career because she knew that was going to happen once they found a murder scene and the deadly body and she then went into hiding. Kishisu's body was discovered and the newspapers all over reported the macabre murder and Goro's career was ruined forever. And the search for Sada A began as she turned a national sensation for the wrong reason. There were several sightings but they couldn't catch Sada A. The day after the murder, Sada A went shopping and saw a movie. She used a fake name to stay at an inn. She had a massage there. She drank three bottles of beer. She wrote letters of farewell to Koryo Omiya, a friend, and Kishiso Ishida. See, Sada had planned to kill herself. She used Kishizu's genitals and practiced necrophilia, even though it didn't work. She planned to flee to Osaka with Kishizu's penis and then jump from a cliff holding it. However, on May 20th, the police found Sada Abe at her room. They weren't convinced it was her in the beginning, but she showed Kishisu's penis as proof, and Sada Abe was arrested. While she was being interrogated, they asked her why she had cut off Kishisu's Ishida genitals, and she replied, Because I couldn't take his hand head or body with me. I wanted to take part of them that brought back to me the most vivid memories. They also asked why she killed him and she said, I loved him so much I wanted him all to myself. But since we were not husband and wife, as long as he lived, he could embrace another woman. I knew that if I killed him, no other woman could ever touch him again. So I killed him. When she said this, she actually seemed quite excited and her eyes sparkled. While talking to the police, her former lover Kasahara said, She has astounded me. She just wasn't satisfied unless we did it three or four times a night. I loved it at first, but eventually she became exhausting. He also said, She is a bad woman. And he insulted her. And then he said, She is a woman that all men should fear. Sada Abe claimed her relationship with Kasahara was actually abusive. Even though Sada Abe pleaded guilty, she still went to trial, and her defense lawyer claimed Sada Abe was insane at the time of the events. On November 25, 1936, the trial began, and a lot of people attended. The judge also admitted to being aroused with certain details of the case. Her sister testified Sada always wanted to be a geisha, and Sada said this wasn't true. Being sent to a geisha house was a punishment for her behavior. On December 21st, 1936, Sada Abe was convicted of murder and mutilation of a corpse. Sada Abe wanted the death penalty, the prosecution wanted 10 years. Before Sada Abe was sentenced, she stated, The thing I regret the most about this incident is that I have come to be misunderstood as some kind of sexual pervert. There had never been a man in my life like Kishiso Ishida. There were men I liked and whom I slept without accepting money, but none of them made me feel the way I did toward him. The judge took into consideration of Kishisu Ishida's role that led to his death, and the judge also took into consideration Sada Abe's mental state, so he gave her six years in prison. The judge believed it would be enough time for Sada Abe to rehabilitate herself and the time she spent in prison would actually turn to be the most stable time of her life. Sada Abe was a model prisoner and she was released on November 10, 1940. She lived with her sister and brother-in-law, but she had to support herself because of wartime rationing. She used an alias and worked as a maid, but she was fired when they found out who she was. She became the mistress of a man for several years 
until his family and friends found out who she was as well. Even though she tried to live out of the public using fake names, her story haunted her. She became upset people saw her as a sex pervert. She worked in pubs and restaurants until she went out of sight. Sada Abe and her story were inspiration in music, literature, movies, and a lot more. Sada Abe became a legend in Japan. When the public found out the details of the crime, there were rumors Kishizu Hishida's penis, his peekaboo peepee, was big. But the officer who interviewed Sada Abe said it was just average. Sada Abe told him, Size doesn't make a man in bed. Technique and desire to please me were what I liked about Hishida. Penis and testicles were moved to Tokyo University Medical School Pathology Museum. It was put in display after World War II, but then it disappeared. <laughs>